What's up, Lion Stan? I'm trying to get what you say. It's your girl, Lauren O'Mizzle here, <laughs> chilling with my man, Vaughn Martin. You may know him from, you know, around, whatever. He's in the NFL. You know the drill better than I do because I'm a girl and I don't watch football. Such films as? Such films as? Shit. Tap house? <laughs> Alright, so tell me what's going on with your leg here, man. Uh, I just had surgery a couple days ago. What's today? It's Tuesday. I had surgery on Friday in North Carolina. In North Carolina? What yeah. was that like? It was North Carolina. It was a lot of NASCAR stuff, like in a hotel and stuff. But the surgery went great. Yeah? Yeah, it was pretty good. You into NASCAR and stuff? Absolutely not. No, you seem like the type. I figured you would be. Number three, go. Yeah. Go number three. Yeah. We're going to hear first, Lionston. <laughs> I heard that you're a pretty good rapper. I heard this a few seconds ago when you were rapping some 8 Mile for me. Go. 8 Mile? That was my stuff. <laughs> oh, really? I think Eminem might uh, beg to differ. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. a little bit of Daft Punk. Can you freestyle for me? Freestyle? Yeah. Lauren and Nizzle for Shizzle, in the place to be, it's my Dizzle. I'm with my dogs, and I'm nasty. I'm fast, nobody can pass me. That's yeah, it's right. true, he's <laughs> It's all right. No, that was good, that was weird. I'm on Percocet. I, I got some hot nights, he ain't even heard him yet. <laughs> <laughs> so you feeling pretty good from this uh, surgery medicine here? Oh no, I feel good from the medicine. I feel good because i like, being serious. It's, uh, ankles have been messed up before. I got through it, you know, my first year, I had a little bit of success. But I think it sets me up to have, you know, the success I plan to have coming off my first year. And so I'll be healthier on my, you know, my head because I'm mentally prepared. My body's going to be right there with it. So. Well, you're already, like, insane successful, man. You're, like, the first Canadian guy. What is the first Canadian football? Underclassman. Underclassman to be drafted in the NFL. It's insane. Yeah, I, didn't, I don't really think about it. But when you think about it, I mean, I just work hard, you know. A lot of people, I guess, doubt it and stuff, but... I mean, sometimes you get frustrated and mad at that, but, I mean, that's just, it would have taken someone to say, oh yeah, this guy's going to do this, this, and that. It's kind of unpredictable, and it's kind of underneath the radar, but oh, yeah, I'm happy. Wow, well, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> How's uh, living in San Diego? What's that like? Oh, it's amazing. Well, you're from Jamaica originally, right? So a lot of mercy. A lot of what? A lot of mercy. Mercy? A lot of mercy. What's that? No, yeah, I was born in Jamaica, <laughs> and, um... And so you like hot weather, I'm sure? Love the hot weather. Love palm trees. Like yeah. palm trees make me so happy, yeah. Like, the weather's always perfect. I think it was like 80 degrees the other day in like February. So you can't really, you can't complain about that. I'm jealous. Yeah. Um, what else are you gonna get? I have some, a list of questions here. I'm not allowed to ask him about Go ahead, hey, hey, come on, don't ask about nothing. No, stupid. so you're not Je dating Jessica Simpson? I, that's what I heard. Tell me something for the Western kids out there. As far as Western kids, try to follow, follow my footsteps. Yeah. Uh, the first thing I'd say is don't, you know, because I didn't follow everybody else's footsteps. What you got to try and do is maybe look at someone else's footsteps and say, I'm going I'm to be better. You know what I mean? Don't try to take the same path, because it was unorthodox and a little unpredictable. But the best thing I can say is any goal you have, whether it's football, whatever, just in general, just work hard and see if you can do it. And then the number one thing is, there's going to be people that tell you you can't do something. Whether it's football or another reason in your life, and the best thing you can do is laugh at it. I agree. That's very, very wise advice from Bob Martin. Right there. You're like a sage. Do you miss it? Do you miss London and Western? Like, well, you know, I obviously miss London. You know, more so I miss the people here that helped me become who I am. That's why I'm back here because it is kind of cold. You know, otherwise I wouldn't be here. I'm taking classes too. Yeah. I do miss Western. It was, it was a lot of fun times with the boys and stuff. So I heard this other thing that you set some record or something for lifting. 225 pounds, <laughs> 44 times. That's like more than two of me. Oh man, you know what? That's not true. That's not even true. Yeah, you just heard it. I just, I just told you. That's not true. What? What's funny one time? I never read anything about myself, and my mom was going through, I guess, the internet one time. She's yeah, like, you're on Wikipedia. Yeah, this. my mom, you know, went to the site. Like, you lifted 225, you know, pounds like 48 or 44 something. 44 times. 44 times. I'm like, damn! I wish I really did that. That would be so good. No, I lifted like 33 times. Oh, still, 225 pounds, 33 times? It was gangster though how I did it. Yeah, like, I, I walked in there, got my jacket on. They said, oh yeah, you can warm up here. I said, I'm not warm up. I'm tired. I need to go home. It was a long workout. Went out there, hit it 33 times, racked it left. I didn't rack it. It fell on my chest and I left after 33 times. That's pretty impressive because you left me 33 times. Oh, why did I lift you about 50? That's hot. Yeah. Are you single? <laughs> no. Don't ask me that. <laughs> all right, all right. You were there for what, four years? I signed a four-year contract, yeah, as a rookie. And then what do you want to do after that? Play more football. 
You're a big guy and I feel little next to you. What can I wear to be bigger if I were Fall to be risk. What? Um, what can you wear to be bigger? Yeah, like if I want to be big like you. Do you have any football advice? Uh, get some Timberlands maybe. Some uh, some Timberlands. Get, gotta get a fitted hat. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. You like Is that, that hot? Uh, yeah, there you go. Am I Bob Martin now? Uh, no. You're Lauren. I'm Lauren on this one. Yeah, track and ass. Do you have a freestyle? Uh, your mom does your hair? She doesn't like my hair. Oh, why not? So, I don't know. Mom's hair. Eh? Clean cut, she likes you know. My mom doesn't like my hair either. She looks just too blonde. Well, maybe they can hang out. If you have a message for all the guys at Lion's Den who are watching you, your little fans of Western Land, what do you want to say to them? And uh, I just want to say thank you if you're watching and supporting. And if you're not supporting, I want to say thank you as well because I'm motivated either way. And now uh, Lions Den's doing a great job. It's pretty funny. It funny. I, was, I was actually keeping. I was keeping. I saw your little updates. I saw your predictions when I was out there. I clicked on the little laptop. Lions Den's pretty. It's hilarious. So I'll keep doing what you're doing. Awesome. Can you say should the bear have sex with everybody, <laughs> or will that get you fined or something? What do you say? <laughs> it's the Lions Den kind of slogan. It's should the bear have sex with everybody. <laughs> Chug a bear, have sex, fornicate, be a good boyfriend and girlfriend. With everybody. There you have it, guys. <laughs> Juan and Lauren for Lion's Den. I'm just trying to be Give a good guy, man. Give me a high five, buddy. You are a good guy. Cheers. All right. Man, you can't have me. What the hell's wrong with you, man? You're <laughs> no. crazy. Stop. <laughs> stop, 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 stop.